The tradition of plate smashing or plate breaking on New Year's Eve is common in Denmark, and it's believed to have originated in the 19th century as a way for people to let go of old grudges and start the new year with a clean slate. The custom is thought to have evolved from an older tradition of ringing bells on New Year's to ward off evil spirits and bring good fortune for the upcoming year. To participate in this custom, people collect unwanted plates throughout the year and dishes, and then they throw them at the front doors of their friends and family. It's believed that the more plates that shatter, the more good fortune will be conveyed to the recipient. In some areas of Denmark, this practice has been modified to include throwing old flower pots or other objects in place of plates and dishes. Some people have even started using old shoes or other odd items. In an effort to reduce waste and be more environmentally friendly, some people have even started using paper plates and plastic cups instead. But they don't smash the same. The tradition of plate smashing on New Year's Eve has become an important part of Danish culture and is enjoyed by people of all ages. It's often featured in Danish media and entertainment, such as the TV show Often Show It, which has featured segments about the practice and invited celebrities and politicians to participate. The tradition has also been subject of many articles and blog posts, and it's become a popular topic of discussion in the lead-up to New Year's Eve every year. Interestingly, in 2010, the Danish Prime Minister was caught on tape participating in the plate-smashing tradition, tossing dishes at doors of his staff to wish them good fortune in the new year. While the tradition is widely loved, it's also sparked debate in Denmark with some arguing that it's wasteful and contributes to unnecessary garbage. Despite these criticisms, the tradition remains extremely popular and is seen by many as a fun and lighthearted way to welcome in the new year. Some people have even started using the tradition to raise money for charity, such as a group of friends in one Danish city who held a plate-smashing fundraiser for a local animal shelter charging a small fee for participants with all proceeds helping out the shelter. In this way, the New Year's Eve plate-smashing ritual has evolved into not only a fun and festive way to celebrate, but also a way to give back to the community and support great causes. With that being said, we'd like to wish everyone a happy, healthy, and safe New Year. These are Interesting Things with JC.